Clean Spores Woodworking Shop. Quality tools and supplies for the woodworker. Clean Spores Woodworking Shop is a full-line Axiom dealer, and today we're going to show you how we assemble the AR4 Pro CNC. Meet Chris Smith. He is our resident CNC technical specialist. Chris is knowledgeable in all things router and CNC bits, modeling, Vetric, and Aspire softwares. The other gentleman you'll find in this video is also the one talking to you today. That's Mike Z with Clean Spores Woodworking Shop. I am the marketing and technical specialist here. So you'll see here that we are unboxing the entire pallet. It comes all in one pallet. Uh, a lot of the dust collection parts were taken off first and off to the side. So the first thing that we did is we took the stand out of all the boxes and started applying the casters. This makes it a lot easier when you go to put on the cross members that you can actually roll it around at that point and move it where you need to. Something we found helpful was adding a socket set to a drill. This made the process of putting all of the screws into the stand with the caster units a lot faster. Make sure to set the chuck on the drill so that way you don't over tighten them and possibly strip out the screws. First start by hand threading your bolts. Then with a straight drive bit or a flat bit, you can screw it in and make it much faster. One thing we ran into was aligning the bolts for the cross members, and we fixed this easily by using a clamp and holding it in place. Here we have the stand fully complete. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put on the controller clip and you can put it on any four corners that you want to for ease of your use. The rubber grommets that come with it for applying the stand and keeping the vibration down uh, may sometimes not be cut all the way through. So what we did is we took a bolt in, put a knife to it, cut around the threads to open it up. So the next thing you want to do is apply your rubber grommets over the holes so when you go to pick up the entire CNC unit that they already line up. Make sure you bring a friend for this part as it is pretty heavy and it's going to be hard to do just by yourself. Make sure you don't over tighten the grommets as they'll squeeze out over the pressure. Just enough to hold it in place so that way it doesn't move is all that you're going to need. Next we are unboxing the Axiom Toolbox that mounts into the stand we just built. The toolbox has a heavy duty steel construction, four aluminum drawers with ball bearing drawer guides, EVA foam liner in the drawers, and ventilated storage compartment for the CNC controller cabinet. If you've purchased the toolbox, install it prior to mounting the machine to the stand for easier installation. The toolbox comes with a high security locking system to ensure that all of your CNC bits, clamps, and accessories for your Axiom CNC are well protected. To ensure that the cabinet is attached to the stand, you want to make sure you tighten up all of the hex bolts. Tighten up the final four bits and you're all set. You want to make sure you run your control wires through the back of the toolbox prior to installing the controller. Properly secure all of the controller wires. Oh. 
Next you'll want to find the box that has the controller, the controller cables, the zeroing out device, the wrenches, the upper motor, the upper motor hat. Oh, hope that doesn't void the warranty. And everything else that you'll need to put together the final step. The AR6 Pro is a 220 device, so you want to make sure that you have the correct plug to match up the one that comes from the factory. Now Chris is showing you how to install the overarm dust system. The overarm dust system is made to fit any of the AR Pro series, the AR4, 6, 8, and even the 16 CNC routers. Make sure to take care whenever you're sliding this in with the four bolts that you don't try to tweak it or scratch anything unnecessarily. It's just, it slides right in whenever you get the bolts lined up just right, so don't try to force it. Now Chris is going to move the CNC to its final resting spot where it's going to stay in his shop. Uh, he's going to take the leveling feet, make sure they're firmly adjusted so there's no movement whatsoever while the machine is running. Axiom's water-cooled spindle makes tool changes a breeze. Two wrenches in a matter of seconds you can switch out from a quarter-inch bit to a half-inch bit. Next we're going to install the Axiom dust shoe. This dust shoe will fit all of the basic pro and elite models Utilizing a rare earth magnet closure allows for quick removal of the brush head and provides access to the spindle. The heavy duty polycarbonate construction is transparent for added visibility with a four inch dust port. Work holding has always been a challenge for CNC operators. With the Axiom Auto Adjust Hold Down Clamps, you now have the capacity to secure thin veneers up to three quarter inch thick stock. The pivoting foot with rubber cover minimizes any marring that can occur and can fully extend up to three and a half inches from the center of your T-Track. Another clamping option available is the Axiom Hold Down Clamps. The Hold Down Clamps provide fast, convenient method of securing your workpiece to the table of your Axiom CNC router. The robust 5 16 T-bolts slide easily into the extruded table slots with large enough capacity to nearly any material up to three inches thick. And there you have it, it is all complete and put together. The Axiom AR6 is a great CNC to add to your shop. If you have any questions or want to see more videos, please leave a comment below. Thank you for spending your time with us today at Klingspore's Woodworking Shop.